Good afternoon, friends, family, and graduates. Muy buenas tardes, amigos, familias, y graduados. I would like to introduce the presentation of colors by the Green Bay Police Department Honor Guard. Now at this time, oh, will everyone who can, please rise and remove your hats for the singing of the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming Welcome to the commencement ceremony of East High School Class of 2021. My name is Juliana Navarro, your senior class president, and I will be attending St. Norbert College this upcoming fall. I would like to thank Ms. Karen Eichen and the band for playing our processional, and Mrs. Murren Toflet and the choir for singing our anthem. Please join for a round of applause to the members of our graduating class today who have all worked so past these past four years to be here today. We are gathered here this afternoon to recognize our hard work and dedication, celebrate our accomplishments and relish in the memories we've made during our time here at IE's High. Today, we start our journey into adult life, equipped with knowledge and support provided, with our, provided by our time at East High. We head into the unknown, ready for new experiences and opportunities. Without further ado, let's begin our 2021 graduation ceremony. I would like to introduce our first speaker, Brooke Miller, who will be studying musical theater and English at the University of Green Bay.
Good afternoon, East High School staff, friends and family, and fellow graduates of the class of 2021. Being able to stand here in front of you today and give this speech is truly an honor. When the signups for the 2021 commencement speech were announced, I felt that I owed it to East to share my voice. After four amazing years here, I am more than proud to say that I am graduating as an East High School student. Since my brothers both graduated from East, I knew somewhat of what I was coming into my freshman year, but every high school experience is different. My oldest brother was a runner, the other played baseball, and I was in the theater department. None of us had even close to the same experience, but we all fell in love with East High. The teachers, the principals, and everything in between made going to high school every morning so worth it. There are times where I felt that I would never graduate, and I imagine there are plenty of you who felt that way as well. Some of you may have fallen behind in your early years, like I did. But as, the class, but as the 2021 class motto states, no one can go back and start a new beginning, but anyone can, go, can start today and make a new ending, Maria Robinson. With the help of our incredible teachers, peers and family, and all of the other East High School staff, we are graduating here today. And if no one has said it, or even if they have, I will say it now. I am so proud of us. As a class, we've gone through so much. Great triumphs, such as beat, defeating West in football all four years, or winning a national show choir competition. However, there were also a ton of hardships, like conquering our senior year in a pandemic. No matter if you're thinking good or bad, our high school journey has been pretty special. We were home-based guinea pigs, which personally I wish we did my freshman year, because then I would get to see Mr. Fisk and bother him even more. We got to learn right alongside our teachers when our entire school system was moved online. You know, I used to think I wanted to be homeschooled. Now I know that is very far from the truth. We were able to put on a musical from our homes and play sports without a student section. But now, as we go into our future, no matter if you plan on going into college, into the military, or into the workforce, the troubles we went through this year will only make us stronger. East High School has shaped us into the people we are today. With a diverse community and the feeling of belonging, East High School became a place we could call home. The people I met at East are some of the most incredible people I have ever met. Everyone is caring and supportive, no matter what walk of life you come from. The teachers and other staff have been so dedicated to helping us pass and graduate. So here we are. After all the affliction, we are graduating. But most importantly, we're able to graduate together, and that is truly a blessing. So thank you to our devoted teachers. Thank you, Ms. Virk and the administrative team. Thank you to all other East High School staff. And thank you to our friends and family who have helped us get to where we are. But most importantly, you should be thanking yourselves. Thank yourself for having that drive to graduate this year, even after the world seemed to fall apart. Putting what East High School means to me in words seems impossible, but here I am trying my best. East High School will forever have a place in my heart and will forever be a part of us all. Once a Red Devil, always a Red Devil. Thank you. Thank you, Brooke. Next up, we have our second speaker, Leah Maitland, who will be studying English at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Good afternoon, EHS staff, friends and family, and fellow graduates of the class of 2021. <laughs> Wrong speech. We're here. We finally made it to this great landmark of our lives. Please, have a moment and just take it all in. Nobody can go back and start a new beginning, but anyone can start today and make a new ending. Maria Robinson. For many years, we as a class spent time fantasizing about our graduation. After watching a friend or family member cross the stage in their cap and gown, or even just after watching the High School Musical Trilogy for the fifth time in a month. I'm sure we all had our own expectations of the ceremony to come. Granted, at that time we were so starstruck by the future, we failed to consider certain factors, 
like how long it takes for everyone to walk in their seats, how warm it is in here, and wondering just how many more speeches there are going to be. It seems safe to say, though, that even in our wild list of fantasies, none of us expected to be wearing masks or for our high school years to have been so affected by the pandemic. Nobody can go back and start a new beginning. The beginning of the pandemic may have marked the start of a new era, but let's think back further in time. Our freshman year ended 2018. What a simpler time, right? Some of us had braces, others had hair or styles so different than now. We look back at our pretty bad ID photos and think, wow, I used to look like that. Back before we knew to avoid the first floor main hall at all costs around lunchtime, before we even knew trimesters and block schedules existed. Still, no matter how different we were, we had two common goals. One, the more societal goal, to graduate, and the other more primal goal, to survive. Each of us pushed toward graduation in the ways we knew how, hours of studying, doing homework, or procrastinating on it. We had caring teachers to guide us toward our interests and better grades. But for many, the work we put in will not be what we take away from our high school years. It was the things we did to survive the hours of retaining information that we will cherish for years to come. With the help of the faculty, we were able to involve ourselves in numerous activities, sports, and clubs. Through these, and through passing times and dances, we formed friendships and bonds with those around us. Many of us met people that we want to spend the rest of our lives knowing. We made inside jokes with teachers, even going as far as to get to know them past the lectures and ever-ending notes. Soon, the unfamiliar halls held kind faces and rooms chock full of memories. The pandemic marked a huge transition for all of us. The hallways were emptied, and it was all we could do to log into a Zoom meeting and try to remember each other from profile pictures on computer screens. It felt as though, with each of us so affected by our surroundings and our situation, we were freshmen all over again. Things that had previously felt like mountains of occasions, such as taking the ACT, were whittled down to molehills. By the time we could fill the classrooms again, we were weary travelers returning home after years of battle. Were the lights always so bright? Were stairs so hard to climb? We often look back at our formative two and a half years and wonder how we managed to stay so innocent and optimistic. We think back to the pandemic and ask ourselves, how did our life get so destroyed? Nobody can go back and start a new beginning, we think, and we could, pardon me, give them the finger and go back in time, try to fix or change our experience. And we have every right to. We went through a lot. But anyone can start today and make a new ending. It's the second half of our class motto that we really have to look at. Yes, every day was and is hard. Getting through the pandemic and getting to where we are now seemed impossible. But you decided to go to class. Or maybe you got out of bed. Or maybe all you could muster was to wake up and choose to live another day. Maybe you were a mix of all three. But through this, we were able to take something as terrible as over a year's worth of a global crisis, and we still turned it into our new high school ending. Even if the last few in-person months were a bit different, or that prom was split with the underclassmen or juniors, we made the most of what we were given. We took our energy and did everything we possibly could to make our high school ending the best one we could create. Our high school ending, better worded as a new life's beginning. We chose to start yesterday and make our high school ending a reality. Today, we woke up and started to prepare for what is our last high school ever experience. And tomorrow, we can wake up and start our steps at a new life. For some of us, that could mean going to college, going to the military or workforce, or maybe just enjoying a bit of well-deserved relaxation. But if there's one thing we have learned through everything we went through, it's that we can start anything we would like, today, tomorrow, or any day to come. All we need to do is wake up and start our path towards a new ending. Thank you. Thank you, Leah. Next, I would like you to give a warm welcome to East High's principal, Lori Ferg. We're finally here, right? 
here we go. Thank you for being present today to honor the graduating class of 2021. Parents, grandparents, relatives, friends, members of the Board of Education, and Superintendent Murley, faculty and staff of East High School, and all other schools, welcome to all of you on behalf of the Green Bay East class of 21. Today is a special day. It's graduation. This day is actually to honor you and all of your accomplishments and the hard work throughout your 13 years. Today we are here to show the community the pride and honor that it is to be a Red Devil. As principal of East High School, I have had the honor and privilege to work with you as young individuals for several, past several years and see you develop into quality individuals that hopefully will change the world. It is and has been my pleasure to serve the students and families of East High School, whether it has been for one year or for all four. On behalf of the East High School staff and myself, we thank you for allowing us to serve you and your family throughout the final years of your K-12 education. This is an exciting day. We are here in person, in this arena. Yes, if it's a little warm, Leah, right? Celebrating together one of life's great accomplishments, which is graduation. We all know that it has been a challenging 12 plus months. However, your day has arrived. This ceremony is your time to shine and be proud of all of your accomplishments. When you look you, when you take a look back at life, you are probably feeling like you have traveled a long way from where you started. But you also need to realize that you're not where you are going. You are beginning to look forward to the rest of the life and the journey. Your family members and the staff of East High have been your cheerleaders over the past years and will continue to cheer you on into the next stages of life. As a senior class, you, you get to choose the model that best represents your years of K through 12 education. This year, your class has chosen a quote from Maria Robinson, nobody can go back and start a new beginning, but anyone can start today and make a new ending. This is so fitting for what all we've gone through over the past months. We all wanted a different start to the school year, me included. However, we did the best to, to best with, we could with the cards that were dealt to us. You have done, what you have done is played the cards that were given to you. You continue to work and persevere through the ups and downs to getting to this ending. Now that you have navigated these twists and turns in your responsibility for starting your new beginning, this is the ending you wanted. Now you need to start your new beginning. What are you waiting for? Oh yeah, media and the speech, right? Well, you just have to wait a little while for me to provide you some words of wisdom, and I hope that you take those words of wisdom into your future. I realize that the world has changed throughout the years, and individuals such as yourselves are the ones that have created and made these changes possible. Generations of individuals have made changes to make our community and world a better place, and now is your generation's time. What are you going to do about it? What can you do per personally do? How do you help build a better tomorrow? What can you personally do about that? There are many things that are uncertain in your future. However, the one constant of all of this is you. You are the one who will define who you are and who you will become and what our community and world will look like. Use your passion to make a difference in everything you do and turn common into something special. I refuse to accept the idea that the isness of man's present nature makes him morally incapable of reaching up to the eternal oughtness that forever confronts him. This quote by Martin Luther King Jr. helps you to look at to each day and look for the oughtness that should happen to yourselves to fight for in life. Don't take the isness of what is around you right now and accept this as the way things are to be because you certainly didn't do it when you were students at East High. Look deep down inside yourself for the oughtness, your passion to change, 
and do what is right, no matter what others think. Think and see isness as being the same old process, and that process needs to be changed. Oughtness is the new that you want and should bring to this community. Use your passion and intelligence to make the change that you all need and desire. I know that as graduates, you, you want to make changes for the better and are going to strive to make a difference. Understand that you want to make the difference, not just for today, but for years to come. Put all your energy into these changes. There is no need to wait for someone else in order to, to do the right thing. You are the person and the class that can make that difference necessary to change the isness of today and bring the oughtness to the new ending that you desire. All of us hope that you have taken those opportunities and gained knowledge, care, and respect for yourself and those around you. You know that many of you and hope that all members of this class will be the difference makers of our world. Take pride in who you are and where you are from. Because once you became a red devil, you will always be a red devil. While you have been at East, staff members have been supporting and challenging you to be the best that you could be for not only now, but for the future. Change does not come easy. It comes with struggle and times disappointment. You saw it this year. However, in the end, it comes with pride and hopefulness. Take what staff members have taught you for the past 13 years and use it for those intellectual and personal skills to make the difference that will help make a new ending. Create new endings that others will follow. Lead, but always do it the Red Devil way. Be respectful. Be dependable. Be prepared. These simple ideals will never let you down. They will keep you focused and moving forward to your new ending. Looking back at the things that happened in school, I hope you look back and smile. That all the time spent at East are the years to remember and not regret. Those memories that you created individually or as a group from homecoming, dances, athletics, musicals, academic competitions, homework, and even the pandemic have impacted your development into the young men and women you are today and will continue to guide you later in life. Memories of school are different for each of you. Some were good and some were not great. As your model states, no one can ever go back and change the beginning. But you have used these memories and lessons to help you change your ending. I hope that you take with you the understanding that teachers were trying to show you things that in the moment you wished they would just hurry up and get this over with or just stop talking, let me get it done. In your mind, you thought you would, that you would never use this information. You might not use the algebra in its form of x plus 4 equals 2x minus 8. And don't forget, you know, the writing of the five-paragraph essay, all those things to explain the climax of it within a novel. However, you'll use the skills developed from these courses like critical thinking, hard work, and perseverance to help you succeed later at whatever you choose to do with your life from going right into work, the military, or college. These skills will stay with you, and maybe someday you'll say to yourself, you know, Mr. Nass was correct. Just let the juices flow down your chin when you eat. Enjoy life and all of its pleasures, but don't forget to brush your teeth. Life is ahead of you now, and you need to look at a new beginning for yourself. Remember that you can go, not go back and start a new beginning. So start off the right foot and stay confident in yourself because you are a red devil and will always be. Think about the past year. What has it all taught us? 
that life is bigger than just ourselves, that East High School is more than just a building. It was, is, and will be a place to gather, grow, and learn. None of us knows how many more turns around the sun that we have, so make the most of the time that you have left in life for yourselves and those around you. We are proud of you. Be proud of yourselves. Live your life with the heart and passion of a red devil. I wish each of you well with the start of your new ending and hope that these words have helped you understand that your generation can and will make a difference for the better within our community and world. I know that you will, will not hold on to the isness of, this, of the time, that you will use your oughtness to bring about the changes needed to bring us together as a human race. East High School will be a part of you, who you are as a person, as you move into the next stages of your lives. Each of you will always be an East Red Devil, carry this distinction with pride, as many of us still do from past graduating classes. The tradition and history of East High School continues because of graduates like yourselves. Our rich history and tradition continues to live and breathe with you, the graduates. Congratulations to each of you and your families. Mr. Murley, upon the endorsement of faculty of East High School, who have expressed full faith and confidence in the achievements of this class, and who have also verified the successful completion of their K-12 program of learning, I am honored to recommend to you the Green Bay East High School Class of 2021. As superintendent of schools, few things are as rewarding as participating in your high school graduation ceremony. As you prepare to cross the stage and move forward with your lives, I'd like to share with you an excerpt from a speech by the 26th President of the United States, Theodore Roosevelt, entitled Citizenship in a Republic. He delivered this speech over 100 years ago at the Sorbonne in Paris, France on April 23, 1910. It is not the critic who counts not the person who points out how the strong person stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the person who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds who knows great enthusiasms and the great devotions, who spends themselves in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if they fail, at least fail while daring greatly, so that their place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. Many of you have been with us for 13 years. Some of you have joined us along the way. It is clear that you have all worked hard to reach this goal. Members of your class have compiled an impressive list of accomplishments, and based on your triumphant journey through the district, we will continue to expect great things from the class of 2021 in the years to come. While this is certainly not the school year or the end of your school career that we accept, expected, this is your day, and many of you will remember and treasure the way you feel for years to come. Carry that feeling of success with you wherever you go. Before you leave high school behind, though, Take a moment to think about the friends you have made, the teachers, administrators, and school staff who helped you reach this goal, and your parents and family who have stood beside you through every triumph and defeat. Remember to say thank you to all of them for helping you reach this milestone. As you close the door on your high school career, remember to hold on to the lessons and the hopes and dreams you have shared at East High School. Years from now, you will be amazed at just how much these days, these people, and this community have meant to you. Wherever life takes you, make sure that you remember the past and the promise that lies within each of you today. Graduates, as Roosevelt said, remember to strive valiantly and dare greatly as you seek victory in the arena, and always remember your Red Devil roots. Lori Furk, principal of East High School, has indicated that the class of 2021 has met the graduation requirements of the state of Wisconsin and the Green Bay Area Public School District. 
On behalf of the Board of Education, it gives me great pleasure to accept the class of 2021. Congratulations. Honor Guard, if we can help prepare for diploma distribution. Leah Maitland. Brooke Miller. Juliana Navarro. Mustafa Abdi. Fathi Ahmed. Ahmed Ali. Jaime Alvarez. Alyssa Anderson. Alexander Alki. Maria Arzola Capiz. Brandy Babic. Anthony Baina. Dominic Bahina. Jonathan Bautista Cruz. Sydney Bonlander. Aliyah Brabbit. Caden. Brandner. Olivia Brown. John Broker. Corey Brozig. Michael Burke. Seth Campo. Perla Campos Palo Blanco.
Jessica Cardona. Alonzo Siniceros Vega. Austin Charlier. Jorge Chavaria. Xavier Chavors. Sidron Clay. Idania Cordova Luna. Rainy Cornelius. Monroe Corpus. Alejandro Cortez Delgadillo. Giselle Cortez. Mackenzie Crab. Kobe Crawford. Anai Cruz. Evelyn Curiel. Paris Seistrunk. Brianna Dauphineus. Kanisha Dawson. Christian De Leon. Mason DeGroot. Manuel Del Moral Becerra. Austin Dewberry. Isaiah. Isaiah Day. Estrella Diaz. Martin Dorado. Autumn Duvel. Victoria Eagle. Denver Ebert. Yamna Al Sayed. Adrian Escamilla. Yeah. 
Jenna Farah. Dylan Fields. Zenaida Fiscal. Juliana Fry. Cedar Fuson. Itzel Garcia Nieto. Luis Gomez. Sarah Victoria Gomez. Tatiana Ganyan. Liliana Gott. Addison Grant. Alan Griffiths. Emily Gunn. Katie Gutierrez. Ashley Harrison. Daniel Harrison. Hallie Hatfield. Rachel Heaster. Victor Hernandez Ganandor. Raul Herrera Sanchez. Claire Harriet. Diamond Hogan. To Priest Holiday. Jonathan Honaker. Grace Yonke. Abdullahi Jama. Abigail Hilke Whitehack. Samantha Johnson. Matias Kamban du Schultz. Ethan Caters. Sophie Kelly. Hunter. 
Hunter Kello. Dustin Nippenberg. Seth Newt. Emma Coroner. Daniel Koski. Brett Keel. Matthew Lampshire. Anthony Larson. Nucci Lee. Tina Lee. Chu Fang Lee. Chu Luthadome. Chase Lindsley. Jose Lomelli. Brisa Lopez. Fernando Lopez. Nelson Lopez Martinez. Luis Lopez Castaneda. Maddox Lund. Yair Macias. Darian Balancini. Courtney Martin. Carlos Martinez. Eva Martinez. Dulce Martinez Cuervara. Blake McCurry. Malik Mendez McGilvery. Kevin Mendez Rivera. Alma Mendoza. Giovanni Mendoza. Morgan Miller. Corbin Mizorek. Jonah Mizorek. Abdirahman Mohammed. Yeah. 
Merced Monge. Elijah Moore. Angie Morales Hernandez. Caesar Morales Schuler. William Morin. Trinity Mosley. Libby Newmeyer. Anastasia Nevels. Arlette Nieto Vasquez. Angelique Norton. Brian Ortega Reyes. Abigail Perez. Estela Perez Portilla. Colin Perry. Kent Pierce Jr. Yvette Pina. Ashley Ponce. Natalie Ponce. Sydney Pazarski. Raquel Quevedo Vazquez. Luis Quijas. Alonja Quirino Vargas. Luis Ramos Cruz. Natara Ramsey. Alex Reyes Martinez. Ruby Reyes Martinez. Adrian Reyes Paz. Adriana Renaga. Elijah Richardson. Kobe Rockmore. Alex Rogers. Eduardo Romero Gonzalez. Oh, 
Alvia Maroso Mora. Muna Salad. Andrea Saldana Gonzalez. William Sampson. Jimena Sanchez Hernandez. Elian Sanchez Magana. Mackenzie Sandifer. Hazel Santos. Robert Santos Bautista. Alin Schaus. Alexander Schlag. Amber Schleiss. Trevor Schleiss. Aiden Schneider. Jasmine Schrader. Ashton Schultz. Claire Schumacher. Dustin Scott. Melanie Seidel. Magdalene Sergat. Nicholas Shire. Alex Schrobel. Jonathan Sicaros Deras. Mark Sierra Martinez. Katie Silva Vasquez. Hermione Struck. Ingrid Stumo. Miriam Stumo. Benjamin Tao. Maria Torres. Guillermo Valdez. Timothy Vang Lee. Brianna Vasquez. Gabriel Vazquez.
Yuri Vasquez Antonio. Lourdes Vasquez. Katie Vera Fonseca. Maria. Mariah Verhagen. Joshua Verhagen. Erica Viagrana. Ashley Virgen Soto. Nia Weathersby. Travis Weatherspoon. Nigel White. Daze Williams. Malachi Wishart. Riley Wittig. Brandon Rivera. <laughs> Troy Wipashinsky Prechter. <laughs> Natalie Xiong. <laughs> Eduardo Yanes Salas. Nathan Yang. Randy, Randy Yang. Graham Yoki. Madison Young. Cecilia Zapote Villalobos. Jasmine, Jasmine Zarate. Blade Wendrix. Thank you for not dropping those this, today. Yesterday we had a couple drops, so we're, we're better today. East High School Class of 2021, would you please stand? Class of 2021, could you please move your tassel from the right-hand side to the left-hand side of your cap? Ladies and gentlemen, parents and family members, I give you the graduating class of East High School 2021. Congratulations.
Be happy. Parents and family members will have a processional. Our graduates will be exiting out the front by the Bright Star entrance. At that point in time, we'll actually have the East High flag out there if you'd like to take pictures and different things. We also have some other items. Um, we cannot have pictures and so forth in the bowl. We'll have to exit the building, but please, please stay in your seats until all graduates have left the arena. Thank you. Congratulations again.